Hey, how's it going? Checking in for today with an update on progress and steps taken towards the speaking goals. And um, although it's Saturday, I've actually done a lot of thinking and a bit of writing and planning for the Toastmasters International Speech Contest. And the first round of that is in about 10, 11 days time, week on Wednesday, however long that is. Um, so I know that a lot of people will have started preparing their speech contest speech a long, long time ago. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, it's planned it a long way in advance, but um, usually I have an idea by this point and I have it um, reasonably well mapped out. And I didn't have anything really concrete, even though I said that I was going to do it. I was just kind of hoping that an idea would come to me. Um, and then it did. An idea came to me just, I think it was yesterday, but I've been thinking about it today and made, making a few notes. And what I'm finding actually with this process is, because I have got it's still a decent amount of time. I mean, let's face it, 10 days. It's not going to take me that long to write a speech. I'm sure, it won't be perfect, but it, um, if, if, it, uh, if it goes through, then I've got a bit more time to tweak it and improve it. But um, what I'm finding is that by starting the process and then coming back to it and then leaving it, and coming back to it, and leaving it, coming back to it. I'm not getting stuck. I'm not sitting down to write it and think, oh, I can't do this. I've got, I can't get any further. My mind's gone blank. And that's it. Whereas now, if I'm writing, and I'm making some notes, and I'm mind mapping, and I'm drawing, and doodling, and sketching, and thinking, and putting things down on paper, and then my mind goes blank, and I can't see how all these pieces are going to come together, it's okay, because I can just leave it, and then I can come back to it, and as I said, I've done that several times today and I feel like I'm making progress. The key thing is that it has to have a point. And um, as of course, all speeches do, but it's only five to seven minutes long. And um, it's, it's the critical thing. I think I've, I've, I've had a very weak point, I think, in the last couple of international speech contest speeches that I've given. It's been there, but it's not been ultra clear what it is. And it hasn't been ultra relevant to the audience. As in, you know, it makes sense, but it's not a, oh, wow, you know, I can really take that idea and run with it. Whereas I think what I've got this time um, could be something that ticks that box as well. So I'm uh, quite excited about it, actually. I've got lots and lots of ideas, probably enough content and thinking and uh, potential directions I could take it in for a, uh, a lot longer than just five to seven minutes. But... That is the time that we have, and they're very strict on not going over. You get up to seven and a half minutes, and it's got to be at least four and a half minutes. Um, so the next few days, I will be continuing to keep coming back to it over and over again and see if I can pull out a speech, and then we'll see how that goes in a week and a half's time. But that has been the main thing for progress and steps taken today towards the speaking goals. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.